let's start with SketchUp. In this video, I will tell you what is the difference between a normal render and a realistic render. Though Vray materials that are available in software are good but not perfect for renders. So we will now see the difference between Vray materials and external sources material and we will also learn how to download and use from external sources. Let's start up by making a floor. Now we will divide the floor in two parts. Let's add a material from Vray library and adjust the size so it look like a real wood plank. Now we will go on and download another material from an external source. So this is the website called textureheaven.com. We will now select a material according to our choice and then we will download it. Now we will extract it in a folder. Now we will head back to Vray and create a new generic material. Here we will add the bump map. Now we will add a diffuse map. Now we will go on and add displacement map. You can check the name of maps in the name. It is written DISP and so this is the displacement map. We can select it. DIFF is diffuse map. AO can also be used as diffuse map. Now it's done. There are few more settings which we will learn about it later. So now we will apply it to our selection and we will paint on the another surface. Now we will increase the size so it looks like a real plank. It is too big, we will decrease the size. As you can see in SketchUp only the difference between both the materials. The external source material is already looking better than the Vray material. Now we will render it and see what is the difference on render screen. So now the difference is very visible on the screen as you can see. So this is how external suit material makes a difference in the realistic renders. You can see the depth and the realisticness of the material. In the V-Ray the material is very constant. So that's why the, the render done by V-Ray materials are not very realistic.